After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first and last name and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their head settled in the head holder and their arms resting along their body. Place the patient's head slightly backwards to avoid the ocular lenses being located in the same plane as the petrous ridges, thereby reducing their radiation exposure. Center the internal axial plane laser light on the appropriate landmark. Here we use the external auditory meatus, or EAM. Make sure that the lateral laser alignment light is at the mid-thickness of the skull and that the longitudinal laser alignment light is placed on the median sagittal plane. To help your patient maintain the position, you can place a restraint strap on their chin or forehead. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as a rub with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click Patient Selection. Verify the pre-filled information and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is head first. After checking the scan parameters, click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. Click on Next Series. Place your slices box on the lateral localizer in such a way as to cover the skull from the vertex superiorly to the foramen magnum inferiorly. Then check that the whole skull is covered anteriorly to posteriorly. Note on the localizer if the patient has dense dental fillings. If so, verify the patient's head is not tilted back too much in order to avoid the projection of dental artifacts in the posterior fossa. In order to optimize the dose delivered to the lens of the eyes, it is possible to place the ODM organ dose modulation box in front of the skull at the level of the orbits. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters, which often are pre-configured. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of a brain CT scan, without contrast, you will need at least a smooth reconstruction filter for the study of the brain parenchyma and a sharper or edge enhancement reconstruction filter for a bone study. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and proceed with the acquisition when the buttons are flashing. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition and ensure all pertinent anatomy has been covered. Click End Exam. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them they can get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated by your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.